So, welcome back. And uh, in this video, I think I'll just want to show you. Um, we'll just leave it for the the four attributes, uh, the four variables. We we'll just leave those. We're not adding any any other ones. We uh, waste of time, I think. Uh, you can do that on your own if you want to. Uh, if you <laughs> want to make other babies. Um, uh, but what I want to show is how you can actually have the um, have the uh, the uh, what the the containment of the variable, what the variables contains. You can have them. Um, you can define them in in variables. Sorry, I'm okay. all right. Take it from the start. Uh, so this Peter. Now we have like a string, just input directly. We could also have this out in a uh, variable string, and um, for later. We maybe in this practice also have to think about that that we could actually uh, have input. Uh, so normally you have like a input baby name, input baby eye color, and then we could have that the computer printed out in the end. Uh, for now, we'll just create it in variables on our own. Uh, but for later, we could actually have um, take user input. But uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so now, so what we do? Uh, yeah. This Peter, we could actually let me just delete all of it. Oh, maybe I'll I'll do like this: make comment and then I copy all this. Cut it. I just cut it. And of course, it's going to give an error message because now it's missing input and it can't create the baby. It can't create the baby without knowing what the baby is called. Uh, so this is not like like real life. Uh, this is Java life. So in Java, in the other world, uh, you can only create a baby if you uh, have a name ready for the baby. Otherwise, um, the, I don't know what will happen uh, to the baby. But <laughs> let us just uh, create variables. So string name, and now we have to be careful because we have two baby objects. So name one, I would say equals, uh, and then just take Peter again. Such a nice name, like Peter Pan or Peter Park. Oh, cool people have been named Peter. Um, yeah, and name one. We might as well take the uh, the next baby. Now we are on to name name two equals Mary. Um, yeah, so our two string names and our uh, yeah for the names and then the eye colors. So uh, I will take a bit of time to text all of it. Let's just leave it at that because, um, yeah, because I'm lazy, actually. That's why. So now I'm going to skip that part, Peter, and I'm going to put this back in. And it's still, it will still complain because I still need the, the one input. Um, actually, I now when I remember it, I actually didn't tell you about the order. The order of the input matters also for the the creating new baby and the constructor. So let me just uh, leave that there. Um, where's a plus? No mind. No mind. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So Mary. Let's just take Mary and Mary goes into the string name. Now this order is important because uh, so this is the first input and. Um, first and this is also the first so it's also the first so uh maybe that was actually a little clear uh to you but in case that you uh we cannot put just the name the number uh first and then expect it, the computer to find out that we uh, accidentally typed in the number first everything has to be in the same order so uh it asks for a string as number 1 and then another string for number 2 Two, so if it doesn't get a string for number one, if we start by typing in um, numbers, let's say we we had forty five in the beginning instead, it won't like it. So the order matters, and the number it has to have the same uh, number of variables. That four takes in four, and it also has to have them in the right order. Uh, if they if they were, they were all string uh, variables, then it wouldn't care, but we would care because then uh, everything would be in the wrong order. So. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. So now let me show you what I was talking about. So now we have uh, name one, and we can just instead of typing Peter, we just type name one, comma, and it does exactly the same thing that it did before. And if you don't believe me, we can uh, let's do the other one for the uh, the Mary part. 
we'll just cut her out and name two. Yeah, and we'll run it again. So let's play it again. And it does exact same thing because that's it really don't doesn't care uh, our dear friend Java. Um, so that's uh, that's how we could just use variables, and uh, we could do the same for the the blue and the the fifty and two thousand five hundred. But I don't really want to do that because it should be clear now. Um, yeah, I think this is enough for this one. So uh, let me just mention the last thing that's a bit of theory that I think is important and we'll be working more with that what uh, is going on let's choose a bigger size uh, need so and wait yeah, I like that okay so what's going on in the two string um, and this return statement is actually whoa it's big size I like that it's actually um, a string and what I mean by that is that we are actually um, we are actually uh, formatting uh, like because this name uh, this is actually a string. Uh, now I can move it. I have to move it. Damn, I have to draw it again. Yeah, because um, let's do it like this in the end because there's one is a string and the other one. So this eye color is a string. Uh, so we're good with that. But the height here is an integer, it's actually a number, but when we plus it together like this, it's being put into a string, so there's a bit of theory. So it loses its number identity, if you want to call it that, it stops being an integer, uh, and becomes just like a, a letter. It's still like a number, but it's uh, not like a computer number, it's not an integer number, it's actually formatted or cast, I think that's the word that uh, people want to use. So. Uh, the int height is being being between I don't know is being cast or cast let me do yeah or formatted uh, that's another word for it as well um, cast formatted uh, converted formatted or converted to string yeah just to fit the screen perfect so the eye color. It's the same thing. It was already a string. Uh, so this eye color, it was already a string, so it doesn't really matter, but it just goes to become one big string. But for the height, this was an int in the variable, but the computer just figures out that we want to make it uh, like a string, and we want to put it inside a string, and it becomes a part of the string, just like all the other letters, actually. Even as a number, it just becomes like, um, yeah, I don't know what you can say, loses number identity. Um, Anyways, so that's a bit of theory. Uh, so I, I write all here. I shouldn't write all because it's not all. It's everything. It's just a different way of. It's being cast. Let me do it like this. Formatted, converted to string. So not all. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's a bit of theory. So we call it. I think uh, the normal term in Java books is casting. We call it to cast, and that is whenever we 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 change the identity of a variable into another type of variable. So when we cast, um, I think I should be dealing with this in the next video. Uh, so I think actually I want to finish this baby project. Maybe we'll do more in the in the future. Uh, but for now, I want to move on to uh, focusing on uh, casting um, variables, changing them one type to another type, and also uh, in concatenating. Uh, variables um, uh, because I think this is also what we could call it that it that it does in this case it also concatenates which means to glue it together so let me just um, write it up here okay it also concatenates um, concatenation equals uh, gluing gluing stuff together that's the way I like to together that says that's where I like to view concatenation because concatenation to me uh, European English is second language I don't really know what it means but glue I know what glue is and it's yeah so I believe that it should be named to, gl to glue things together but concatenate sure whatever I don't really care so for the next video we'll be focusing on concatenation and uh, casting I think is important and then I don't know if we will ever return to this project. 
maybe could be cool to, to, to create our own babies and take input. But I'll think about that. But for now, bye.